In this video, I'll be explaining how to use the circle of fifths for minor keys. It's really important that you know how to create the circle and how to use it for major keys before watching this video. Just be aware that the circle can only be used to calculate the key signature of a minor scale. There is a little more tweaking required to produce a melodic or harmonic scale, but more about this at the very end of this video. Okay, so if you already know how to create and use the circle for major keys, let's have a look at how we can use it for key signatures in minor keys. You recall that for major keys, we use C on our circle of fifths as the main point of reference as C major has no sharps or flats in its key signature. The first thing you need to note for minor keys is that we use A as the central point of reference because A minor does not have any sharps or flats in its key signature. Therefore, all the keys on this side of A will be keys with sharps in them, whereas all the keys on this side of A will be keys with flats in them. The circle of fifths works in very much the same way as we used it to calculate key signatures for major keys. I've already said that we start at A, as A minor has no sharps or flats in its key signature, so let's try a few different examples. E minor first. It's on the sharp side of the circle and one notch away from A, so we know it has one sharp in the key signature. B minor, it's also on the sharp side of the circle and two notches away from A, so we can deduce that it has two sharps in the key signature. How about G minor? We're now looking at the flat side of the circle and it is two notches away from A, so we can calculate that G minor has two flats in its key signature. So hopefully you can see how easy and similar the circle is to use compared to major keys. However, we do need to make some final tweaks to ensure that our circle works for all minor keys. We're going to add in some enharmonic equivalents. Now, I talked briefly about enharmonic equivalents in my video about using the circle of fifths for major keys, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here. All you need to remember is that enharmonic equivalent means the alternative spelling of a note. For example, B flat is the same as A sharp, D sharp is the same as E flat, and so on. We're going to enharmonically change the notes on the sharp side of the circle. We'll start with G flat right down at the bottom. We'll add in its enharmonic equivalent underneath. F sharp. We'll do this for all the other flatter notes on this side of the clock as well. So underneath D flat, we'll add C sharp. Under A flat, we'll add G sharp. Under E flat, we'll add D sharp. And finally, under B flat, we'll add A sharp. Now, why have we made these enharmonic equivalent additions? If you watch my major keys video, you remember that if you were traveling around the circle on the sharp side, you'd never get a key that has a flat in its name. Therefore, G flat, down at the bottom of the circle, doesn't exist. It is F sharp, it's N harmonic equivalent. Similarly, if we were traveling around the flat side of the circle, then A sharp, over at 10 o'clock, it doesn't exist either. It's B flat. Let's try a few examples. B flat minor. As there is a flat in its name, we know that we have to travel around the flat side of the circle. So we start at A and count around to the B flat. D is one notch from the A, G is two, C is three, F is four, B flat is five. Therefore, we can say that B flat minor has five flats, flats because we counted on the flat side of the circle, in its key signature. Let's try G sharp minor. As there is a sharp in its name, we know that we have to travel around the sharp side of the circle. So let's count again starting at A. E is one notch away from A, B is two notches, F sharp is three, C sharp is four, G sharp is five. Therefore, we can say that G sharp minor has five sharps in its key signature. One final example to try, A flat minor. It's a flat, so we count on the flat side of the circle. D is one notch, G two, C three, F is four, B flat is five, E flat is six, A flat is seven. So A flat minor has seven flats in its key signature. You've probably noticed that in the top left-hand corner of the screen is still sitting the first letters of our useful phrase, Father Christmas gave Dad an electric blanket, and beneath it, the same series of letters in reverse. Like major keys, we can use the top row to tell us the order of sharps in minor keys, and the bottom row to tell us the order of flats in minor keys. So for example, we've already worked out that E minor has one sharp in the key signature, 
As it is one notch away from A on the sharp side of the circle, we then look at the top row, the order of sharps, and can see that the F is the first letter. Therefore, in E minor, there is one sharp in the key signature, and that note is F sharp. B minor has two sharps in the key signature. We then take the first two notes of the order of sharps and see that they are F and then C. Therefore, B minor has two sharps in the key signature, and so on. We can use this order of sharps for all of the keys on our circle. The same system works for the order of the flats. C minor has three flats in its key signature. The first three letters of our order of flats are B, E and A. Therefore, in C minor, there are three flats in the key signature, and they are B flat, E flat and A flat. You can use the order of flats to help you with all the other minor keys as well. Now, before we end, I just have one very, very important piece of information about minor keys. The circle of fifths for minor keys will only help you calculate the key signature. This is only part of the step in calculating minor scales. A harmonic minor raises the seventh note of the scale, whereas the melodic minor raises the sixth and seventh notes ascending, but uses just the key signature in the descending form of the scale. I do have other videos available which explain these rules in more detail. Do have a look at those videos if you need to. I just want you to be absolutely clear that the circle of fifths for minor keys is only part of the solution to creating minor scales. I do hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching.